Hi guys, welcome back. Today on the menu is curried shatine or katahar or bread nut. Perfect with different types of rotis. This is how the shatine tree would look like. It's a milk tree. It is a fruit. Sometimes called maya nut. Grows tall and it branches off. This is what the ripe shatine seeds would look like. When the fruit is ripe on the tree, it falls to the ground. And this is how it would look like. You can clean them, wash them, and boil them in salted water. And it's very delicious. The seeds take time to clean, but it's well worth it. You can plant them as well too. They will grow. They have the little eyes and they will shoot out. These are the cleaned and washed seeds. And this is what it would look like. As I said, you can plant them. It will grow into a tree. Boil them in salted water until softened. You add it to your pot, top it up with water, add some salt, taste for your taste or likings, and boil it until softened. It will crack when it's finished. And it's delicious. You can sit down and eat it while watching a movie or something or a show and enjoy them. Cut it in half with a knife if you like. Make it easy for yourself. These are the green fruit. This is what the shatai or katahar would look like. And it's very delicious when cooked down in coconut milk. This is what it would look like when it's cleaned. I already have a full video from beginning to end. Give it a good wash. When done. The seeds will take time to clean as I said. But it's well worth it. In a hot pot you're going to add your oil. Your panch puran. It's just different seeds, methi seeds, fenugreek seeds, mustard seeds, jira seeds. Then adding in your onions, garlic and hot peppers and pimento peppers and sauteing it until a lightly golden brown color. All the different seeds from the panch puran will flavor it up. Any curry in fact. Adding in your curry powder, your saffron or turmeric powder and jira powder. Roasted one that is. Let it fry up a little bit, adding in some hot water, the chunk in, and let that curry cook a little bit for some seconds. Then adding in your washed shatine seeds and your flesh from the shatine, or katahar, or bread nut. Turning it, turning it and coating the curry mixture with it. Let it fry up for a little bit and adding in your coconut milk, which was mixed with hot water. If you're using the pack or if you're using the freshly grated coconut or blended coconut, which has been strained, just make sure and add lots of coconut milk for that flavor. Topping it up with hot water now, almost to the top of the pot and you will cover it and let it cook on low to medium heat or low heat, depending on your burner on your stove. It will take a time to cook, at least, let's say, an hour or hour and a half or two hours, depending. Just cook it low and slow, and your end results will well be worth it. See how it starts um, coming together? It's um, cooking, it softens, softening up. When it reaches to that consistency, you're going to add some grinded bandanya. If you don't have bandanya, cilantro is fine. You can even use fine thyme, celery, whatever herbs you like or herbs you like. And give it a mix. This will add or give it that extra flavor. It smells really nice. It's still too liquidy. It has to dry up a little bit. See the water is still thin there. So it has to keep cooking. Just cover it and let it keep cooking. Let it do its thing and it will come out how it's supposed to come out at the end. You can add some roasted jira powder here and turn it up. It looks good. It's not too wet. It's not too dry. 
keep in mind if you take it on at this consistency while cooling down it will dry up a little bit so don't over dry it or don't over let your liquid dry out and this is what the end product would look like leave it with that little water as i said and it will dry up once you keep turning it a little bit off the heat and it will be really nice and enjoy with roti, sada roti, parata roti, bus up shot, or whatever you choose to eat it with. Thanks for watching.